hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the product details page with the reviews and faqs of the product in our angular application and in today's video we will create the api to add product in the wish list so let's get started and as you know we already created this wish list entity in our previous videos and in this wishlist entity, we have an ID and product and user relationship. Now we need to create the repository. So let's right click on the repository package and we will create a new Java class. And we need to name this class as wishlist repository. And this should be an interface. Now we need to annotate this class with at the rate repository annotation and then we need to extend this from jpa repository and here we need to mention the entity which is wishlist and after the entity we need to mention the type of the primary key which is long in our case now after the wishlist repository we need to create the wishlist dto so we can right click on our DTOs package and we will create a new Java class and we will name this class as wishlist DTO. And after creating the class, we need to annotate with at the rate data annotation. And in this wishlist DTO, the first property we want is the user ID. And the second property is the product ID. We will use these two properties in the add product in the wishlist DTO API call and after that we need to add more properties so we can use this wishlist DTO when we will create the get all wishlist product by the user and for that we need an ID of the wishlist and after this we need a property to show the product name so this should be a string and then we will name this as product name and after the product name we need to mention the product description and after product description we will mention returned image and the data type will be byte array and the last property we want is the long price our wishlist dto is completed and now we need to create the service for our wishlist so here in the customer package we will right click and we will create a new package and we will name this package as wish list and then let's right click on this package and let's create a new java class and we need to name this class as wish list service and this should be an interface and after this we need to create the implementation so we will right click again on the wish list package and we will create a new java class and we will name this class as wishlist service implementation and here we need to give two annotations the first one is at the rate service and the second one is required args constructor and first of all we need to create the objects for the required repositories and the first one is the user repository and after the user repository we need product repository and the last one we need is the wishlist repository now let's import these here and after this we can start writing our method and this method will return wishlist dto and we can name this method as add product to wishlist and in the params we will mention wishlist dto and in the body of this method first of all we will create an optional variable of product and we can name this as optional product and we will call our product repository dot find by id method and in the params we will pass wishlist dto dot get product id now after the product id we need to get the user so we will create another optional variable of user and we will name this as optional user and we will call our user repository dot find by id method and in the params we will pass wishlist dto dot get user id now we need to check the availability of the product and the user so we will write one if condition and we will check optional product is present and we need to check our optional user as well so we will call same is present method and if it is wrong then we will write the return statement and we will return null 
and if our product and user is present then we can create our wishlist entity and we will name this as wishlist and now we need to add the details in this wishlist and first of all we will call wishlist dot set product method and we will pass our optional product dot get and after this we need to set the user so we will call wishlist dot set user method and we will pass our optional user dot get and at the end we will write a return statement and we will call our wishlist repository dot save method and we will pass our wishlist in the params and then we will call get wishlist DTO method of our wishlist entity which will convert it to the DTO and our add product to wishlist method is completed now let's go to our wishlist entity and let's create this get wishlist DTO method and here in this wishlist entity we will start writing the method and this method will return wishlist DTO and we can name this as get wishlist DTO and in the body first of all we will create a new wishlist DTO and we will name this as wishlist DTO and after this we can start putting the details in the wishlist DTO so we will call wishlist DTO dot set ID method and we will pass our ID and after the ID we need to set the product ID so we will call wishlist DTO dot set product ID method and we will pass product dot get ID and after the product ID we need to set the image so we will call wishlist DTO dot set returned image and we will pass product dot get image and after the image we will set the name of the product so we will call wishlist DTO dot set product name method and we will pass product dot get name and after the name we will set the description so we will call wishlist DTO dot set product description and we will pass our product dot get description and then we need to set the price so we will call wishlist DTO dot set price method and we will pass our product dot get price and at the end we will set the user ID so we will call wishlist DTO dot set user ID method and we will pass our user dot get ID and at the end we will return our wishlist DTO our get wishlist DTO method is completed now let's go back to the wishlist service implementation and here we need to copy this and we will mention it in the wishlist service and now we need to create the endpoint so we can open our controllers package and inside the customer package we will create a new java class and we will name this as wishlist controller and we need to annotate this class with at the rate rest controller annotation and then we will give the annotation for required orgs constructor and the last annotation we need is the request mapping and for the path we will pass it as api slash customer and after this we need to inject our wishlist service and let's import this class and here we can start writing our method which will return response entity and we can name this method as add product to wishlist and then we will mention at the rate request body annotation and we will mention our wishlist DTO and in the body of this method we will create a wishlist DTO and we will name this as posted wishlist DTO and we will call our wishlist service dot add product to wishlist and we will pass our wishlist DTO in the params and after this we will write one if condition and we will check our posted wishlist DTO if it is equal to null and if it is true then we will write a return statement and we will return a response entity dot status and we will return HTTP status dot bad request and then we will call dot body method and in the body we will pass something went wrong now if our wishlist DTO is not null then we will write a return statement and we will return response entity dot status and for the status we will return it as HTTP status dot created and then we will call the body method and in the body we will pass our posted wishlist DTO and at the end we need to annotate this method with the post mapping and for the path we will pass it as slash wishlist 
our API is completed. Now let's run our application. And as you can see, we got an error. Consider defining a bean for our wishlist service. And to fix this error, let's open our wishlist service implementation. And here we need to write the implement statement and we will mention our wishlist service. Now let's run our application again. And as you can see, our application is up without any errors. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will call this API from our front end application and we will create an API to show all the wishlist product to the user.